Ho ho, me hearties. A very good afternoon to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue. It's uh, 2.38. So there we are, coming up to 22 minutes to 3 o'clock on Sunday afternoon. Wonderful Sunday, the 6th. 6th. See what I just did there. How amazing is that? Lovely to be with you. And I thought I'd just pop up and say a quick hi and see what is happening. So tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClure is live. This is the big one. Live on TikTok just for you. Thank you to everybody who joined us last night for the internet phone in. That's a winner, by the way. That is absolutely massive. Tremendous stuff. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Follow us as soon as you come on. Very, very important. Never scroll, never troll. Remember, anybody who says anything silly goes straight down the swanee. They become toast. It's just amazing. Whereabouts in Scotland are you from? From the West Coast, Kieran. There you are, west of Scotland. Fantastic. Not far from Glasgow. Yes, you'll be able to see that. Fellow Scots here. Ah, Erin, lovely to have you with us. Where are you from? Hi, Fee Fife. Ah, Ken. Ken, I'll tell you, Kenneth. Ah, Ken, a boy. Who kens a boy? Who kens a boy? Who kens? Kirkcaldy. The Lang Tun, Ken. So there we are. Come and join us as soon as you can. Always nice to have the Fifers with us because, of course, Dunfermline, at one point, the capital of Scotland. Clack Manonshire. Ah, oh, Erin. I know Clack Manonshire well. I, I, I love it. Aloha and Alva and the Hill Foots. There we are. Just a very nice part of the world out there. I'm from Straven, if you know where that is. Kieran, you can't not know Straven. Lauder Hall, the home of Sir Harry Lauder. Yes, indeed. Mon the Pfeiffers, eh? Aye. Aye, says Kieran. Ken. So there you are. Good to have you all with us, though, dinky do. Carden Den. It's Carden Den in Fife. I've always wondered about that. Uh, there's Stuart A. Dinky do. Follow us as soon as you come on. Thank you, ticket for the follow. Very, very important. Get the followers there. And of course, tap, 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 tap. Yes, it is, says Kenneth. Ah, excellent stuff. Good. I just wanted to check. I'd always wondered Carden Den, and I thought, I think Carden Den's in Fife. What a fine part of the world. Not too far from East Weems. Yes, where Jimmy Shand was from, of course. And then uh, he moved up to Ochtermachte, to Machte. Fantastic. Very, very nice part of the world. Fife has got everything. There we are. Although the roads could do with a little bit of improvement, I've always said. Uh, now, what have we got here? Never trust a Pfeiffer. Don't be silly, pointless. Why would you not trust a Pfeiffer? Hey, hey, are you Irish? No, I, well, we're all Irish to a greater or lesser extent, but I'm Scottish, you see. But it's still a Celtic race, so it comes under the good guys. Fantastic stuff. That's what it's all about. Hello, Angela. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. I don't know, my dear. You'll have to check that out. There's Beachy Beachy, Dinky Doo Scotty La, Dinky Doo Beachy Beachy La. And thank you for joining us on the TikTok. What a fantastic reaction we get. It is just amazing. Greetings from Scapa Flow in Texas. Chris, I would like to know how Scapa Flow in Texas got its name. Obviously, from Scapa Flow in the north of Scotland. But what's it all about? Who brought the name there? Tell us more. Beachy Beachy, you're very kind. Beachy Beachy has just sent me 31 TikToks. Oh, 48.50. Beachy Beachy, you will clean yourself out. Yes, absolutely. Very, very kind of you. There we are. Big up Kelty. Ken, Ken Kelty. Tell you. Change it in for Keithen, eh? There we are, 50 TikToks as a present from Beachy Beachy. That's beautiful, guys. That's so good. It's been a while. Uh, but I come from Berkhamsted. Right, we like Berkhamsted. Lovely to have you with us in Dinky Doo. Hi, Scotty. Uh, there we are, big up St. Andrews. I will always big up St. Andrews because it holds a very, very special place in my heart. And when I was picking a university, I thought, what about St. Andrews? But I ended up going to Glasgow. 
Yes, indeed. You see, Scotland had four universities when poor old England just had two. So there we are. Tremendous stuff. So we love St. Andrews and, of course, walking the wall there. And the old, there, I made a program in St. Andrews. Yes, it did. I can remember making a program in St. Andrews. Tremendous. McClure, the eighth wonder of the world. Ah, Chris, you're very, very kind. Very, very kind. Town and gown for St. Andrews. I always say, dinky do. I remember as a tiny being on the beach at St. Andrews and I ran into the water and a wave splashed me right in the face. I was about four at the time, I think. Three, me three. Probably nearer three. And uh, I came running back to my mum and I said, I got drowned it. I got drowned it. <laughs> Celtic Beat Rangers. Oh, right. Yes, they did. Hey, Angela, nothing gets past you. Mon the hoops. And we, no, it's we are the hoops. And mon the people. We were thinking about making Celtic Royal Celtic. Would it be nice in the 70th anniversary of Her Majesty the Queen? Yes, 70th anniversary of her reign, her platinum, her platinum jubilee, uh, uh, asking her if we could make Celtic the Royal Celtic Football Club. What about that, guys? So there you are. Hello, hello, Daryl Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClue. Sunday afternoon, nothing gets past me, you see. And uh, I've got 741 likes. Thank you so much, guys, for all these likes. It's very, very much appreciated. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Hello, says Daryl. Hello, Daryl. Dinky do. That's wonderful. Guys, can you get sharing on the TikTok? That would be wonderful. Scotty, I saw your bio. It says you're going on a new radio show. Is it true or old news? Uh, well, David, there are talks at a very high level ongoing. So we shall see, because radio can do with Scotty McClure. 64 years since the Munich air crash. Is that right, Manchester United, the Busby Babes? Yes, indeed. Your French onion soup story was bang on, Gov, the way it should be. Really, Chris? A huge big hunk of toasted cheese in the French onion soup. <laughs> What's happening here? Everything, Rob, Robster. Everything's happening on here, Robster. If you see Scotty McClue, you know you're right at the center of the universe. That's what it's all about. This is TikTok's top talk show. And it's big stuff. Have you followed me? Guys, is everybody watching? Followed. Hashtag float high, all uppercase, F-L-O-T-I, first lot of the internet, my official title. Thank you, Beachy Beachy, for that. I'm a Jordy, so does the Scots dislike us? Or is it just the posh lot? There's no such thing as posh Scots. I can tell you, we're all the same. Same as posh Geordies. There we are. Every Geordie is posh. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, what like? Why was war last? Are you always looking at us? How about a wee tune on the box, la? Well, do you know, Beachy Beachy, I might just do that for you in a wee while. We won't rush it. Is that photos of you at the back? These were presentation portraits given to me. One from uh, Red Rose Radio. I'll see if I can get that one for you. There you go. And the other uh, was Lord Reith the Labrador's graduation. There he is. Isn't he beautiful? What an absolute honey. Wonderful stuff. Now then. You're looking very dapper today, Scotty. You're very, very kind. I was celebrating with my rugby jumper and my Glen Gary last night. Scotland's win over England at Murrayfield in the Calcutta Cup. I thought that was an amazing game. Thank you very much, Magic. I hope it's real. Talk Radio needs you. David, we'll just have to see it. It needs a switched-on programmer, you see, to agree. A lot of them go... Because they don't understand it. So if they don't understand it, then you don't want Scotty getting involved with people like that because they won't be able to realise its potential. So that's the whole thing I say to you. Uh, my mate had a job as a human cannonball. He got fired. He went ballistic. Absolutely. Listen, it's a very good job. There's a bit of mileage goes with it. 
Good, good money plus a wee bit mileage. Scotty, how are you? Good afternoon, Max the Machem. Lovely to have you with us, Sunda Land. That's what I say. Good to have you here, Max. And always a joy when I see you pop up on the TikTok. That's what's about. Good afternoon, Scotty. How are you? Yes, indeed, says Max Beachy Beaches with us. Guys, lots of likes. We're at 1,300 likes. Now, that's not bad. Because that'll tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that we are live. I wonder if I could do, how do I go about doing this? I must, I'll have a look. Uh, there must be some way we can tell everybody that we are live. Get the word out there. Can everybody watching share it? And have you all followed? Very important. Get following. I don't understand how everybody doesn't follow immediately. That's what I would do if I came upon Scotty McClue. Chanced upon Scotty McClue on my TikTok when I was scrolling, I would follow immediately. Uh, I adopted the Scapa Flow location because I love the name and its history. My property resembles. Ah, Chris. So that's not, it's not actually a town or a village. It's your house. How lovely. Scapa Flow in Texas. Been able to join more of the live since I caught COVID on Friday on Max the Mackham. I am sorry. I hope you get strong and well. There we are. Hi, Scotty. Hello, Richard. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do, I'd say, from Scotty McClure. Scotty, how are you? So lovely to see you on this Sunday dinky do from Kligster. Kligster, it's always good to see you on a Sunday afternoon and every day that comes and joins us on the TikTok pop ups. Random. Has everybody followed? Come on, get following. I don't understand what the problem is. I'm also a USN vet gov. Excellent, Chris. The US Navy. Finest, finest, finest. Great stuff. Uh, hello from Newfoundland in Canada. Uh, we love you from Newfoundland. I think, did we talk to you the other day about the dogs, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever? Now, somebody said it might have been your good self. It's 10 miles from my home. I wasn't sure if you meant where the um, first transatlantic radio signal was sent to. Was that not Newfoundland? And uh, also, where is Chesapeake Bay? Is it part of Newfoundland? So spill the beans, please, if you don't mind, Chris. Lovely, lovely. Thanks for all your likes, Beachy Beachy. We're just about to hit 2,000 likes. I love it. Absolutely amazing. Can everybody get sharing this right away? I want to see what happens when we share the TikTok. There you go. Um, I wonder if I can do it on here. I'll have a look and see what is what. Hello from Newfoundland in Canada. We love you, Newfoundland in Canada. Um, it was indeed, it was St. John's it was transmitted from. Wow, I love it, guys. Thank you for that. So that's what happened. They transmitted it from St. John's. And was it the letter S? And was it Marconi? Now, I thought he would transmitted it from the UK to St. John's. No? Was it the other way about? Have I got that a little bit mixed up? There we are. Yes, it was transmitted, and I'm sure it was the letter S. Uh, thank you, Beachy Beachy, for these lovely likes. We're at 2,100 likes. This is amazing. Guys, the generosity and the kindness of all you TikTokers. It's just a privilege to do a TikTok live. Thank you to everybody who joined us for the internet phone-in last night. That was amazing. What, what God wrought? What hath God wrought? Absolutely, Chris. Well, you see, that was the start of radio. Otherwise, you wouldn't have had Scotty McClure. And somebody once said, Scotty McClure has done more for radio since Marconi. I was chuffed to bits with that. I thought that was a beautiful thing to say. He's done more for radio since Marconi. They were, I'm just looking to see if it's possible. Oh, hang on, guys. Sorry, a wee bit of noise there. Mm -hmm. Flower of Scotland coming up for you. How lovely is that? We love it, Scotty. Dinky do lol, says Chris. This is what it's about. Now, uh, what have I got here? 
Yeah, I'm just going to see if I can share the TikTok. I'm having a look at it here. I know it's possible to share it. What does that say? That's for messages. That's for uploading videos. There we are. It must be possible, guys, to share it. You see? So I'm going to have a wee look at that and see what we can do there. What does that say? No, that's not it. Right? But it'll be possible to share this. And I'm going to see if I can find myself here. There we are. So there's a live, right? So we know that's working. This is brilliant. I think there can be more. I've just discovered something new. Sorry for being so excited. But uh, I think I've just discovered some amazing more things on TikTok. Lol, says Chris Mac. Dinky do Scotty says Bobby. Bobby, lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome, I say, from Scotty McClue. McClue's done more for TikTok than Marconi. <laughs> Chris. No, had done more for radio than Marconi, was what they'd actually said. <laughs> this is brilliant. I'm just seeing how we share this, guys. Does anybody know where the share is on the TikTok? And we'll see if we can share this for the people. This is absolutely incredible. Uh, I've uploaded a lot of new TikTok videos for you. Hi, Mr. McClure. What's your thoughts on Boris Johnson? Do you think he should resign? Uh, if it was me, I would have gone. But remember, Boris has had many senior jobs, not for very long, a lot of them. You know, he was the foreign secretary at one point. He was the mayor of London. You know, things like that. So he's done a lot of these things. But I think to myself... Um, you know, this misconstruing the truth is not a good idea at all. I don't know what game he's playing. I think he's very clever, but I spoke to a very senior academic last week and he said, I don't think he's clever at all. So it was interesting, you know, he said, I think he's making an absolute pig's ear of the whole thing. I think probably they talk about cometh the hour, cometh the man. And I think Boris is that in reverse. I think the wrong man appeared at the wrong time. Because I can remember, and this is true, a very, very senior discussion 25 years ago. And the Tories were having to scrape the bottom of the barrel to see who to put in. And I said, well, what about, uh, he was quite young at the time. I said, what about Boris? And this chap looked at me and he smiled. He went, do you know, I was thinking that as well, Scotty. So this is 25 years now. I wouldn't like to say Scotty McClure has been responsible for Boris Johnson becoming prime minister. But it's very, very interesting, you know. But he is also a non-state guy and he may just tough it out and just ignore the whole thing. You know what I mean? Uh, very, very strange. I have the high ground, uh, there we are. We should know you're a wonderful and kind lad. You're very kind, Max. That's very, very good of you. Uh, Boris doesn't want to admit it. Oh, no, he certainly doesn't want to admit it. Uh, you're in fine form today, Scotty, as always, says Chris. Uh, you're watching the horses today? No, Sheldon, I don't do the racing. I once got taken to the races and loved it. But uh, I don't do the racing, you know what I mean? Uh, good day to you, Sir Scotty. Ah, Geodog, what a privilege to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Geodog, you don't know how to share Facebook, do, um, Facebook or Tiffy, TikTok. I know how to share Facebook. How do I share TikTok? Partly TikTok is giving Facebook an absolute drubbing. Everybody's on TikTok. But one of the reasons that I think... I don't think that, I think, am I not right in thinking that Facebook limit your lives so they don't go out to the whole of Facebook? Whereas I think on TikTok, they can go out to all of TikTok and it depends who knows about you and who joins you. Uh, Scott, it's been a pleasure to see you this afternoon. I'm going to have to go and get some rest. Max the Mackham, you must get rested and get strong and well, my dear fellow. And I hope you uh, come through this quickly. And uh, and 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 uh, are are on the mend already, as you speak. Can I borrow your jacket? 
Do you like this? So this is the genuine article. This jacket came from Oxford. So there we are. All right, Scotty, did you see the rugby yesterday? Alan, have a wee look at my TikTok videos and you'll see my celebrationary, celebrationary video. Lovely jacket. What's it made of? Made of fine wool. It's a very, very swish jacket. It's the genuine article. There we are. Fantastic geo dog. There you can see it. Look at that. I'll hold it up for you. Very fine weave. Beautifully made. There we are. Now then, Scotty, how are we? Nothing but the best for McClure, you know. You see, I've dressed the same as I dressed since I was 16. So I've needed sometimes to move up a size or two. Let's not kid ourselves. But having said that, um, if you buy quality stuff, and nobody will know this better than you, Geodog, if you buy quality stuff, it lasts and lasts and lasts. My parents were of a generation that you bought a house and you lived in that house. You didn't go moving all over the place, although I've moved in eight, eight houses. Um, but uh, they stayed in the house for 36 years and they bought new carpets and the carpets were 30 years old. I can remember them getting a new carpet 30 years and there wasn't a mark on it. It looked perfect, just as the day it was put down. Scotty, are you ready for the Oxford-Cambridge boat race? Yes, I used to love that. I could go back to when the commentator was John Snag. The same, do you remember John Snag? BBC announcer. Great character. Uh, so there we are. Yes, Oxford and Cambridge boat race. Where does it go from... Hammersmith to Putney. Am I right? Have I got that? There we are. Uh, oh, an advert for Kissy here. Montague, Geoffrey and Northampton's first class for quality clothing. Leslie Davis sending me beautiful red roses. Thank you so much, Leslie. What a lovely, lovely gift for Scotty McClue. Five beautiful red roses from Leslie. Go to Westminster and straighten that daft lot out. You know, Chris... I think I should, but I know for a fact the second I arrived in Westminster, the chief whip would send for me and he would say, Now, McClure, you shut your mouth. You speak when spoken to. You sit up the back and you don't say anything other than shut the window. So you see, that wouldn't suit me. I need to be right down as an independent on the front benches. Giving it all. Giving it all this sort of stuff, guys. Mr. Speaker, may I inquire of the honourable gentleman opposite? <laughs> That's democracy for you, Scotty. Absolutely. They're a root bunch. Mind you, I wouldn't be bothered by the hecklers. I wouldn't eat. I'd just ignore them. Uh, you know, that's that's the whole thing. And hope that the speaker would say to them, I would sit down when the speaker stood up and he would say, Order, order, Mr. McClure must be held. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, as a kid, I got a high-quality compass. I've been a geologist for nearly 32 years and still use it. Geodog, that's what it's all about, you know. And, guys, you wouldn't see me with my feet up on the dispatch box table. No, 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 or lounging about or anything like that. There we are. You might see me pull the odd face. You know, when I heard a Pinocchio speak. Where do you buy your suits? Well, at you, Jack. I used to uh, go to the wonderful shops in Glasgow. And there was one called McLaren's in Gordon Street. And I used to get my suits from them made by Dax the tailor. Houndstooth check. There we go. That was where I got my stuff. I can tell you. There we are, Uzak. But uh, sadly, I don't think McLaren's is there anymore in Gordon Street in Glasgow. 
And uh, another great place was uh, Hector Pau. And another great one was Dunn's The Gentleman's Outfitters. Ah, yes. And I used to get my bonnets from Dunn's. Scotty, do you have an autobiography? I don't beachy beachy, but a lot of people have been bringing it up recently and saying, why don't you write your autobiography? But you know what I mean? It's so interesting because since we went on social media uh, recently, uh, the feedback has been tremendous. How does Scotty feel about the war between Russia and the US over Ukraine? There shouldn't be any war. World leaders are educated, particularly Mr. Putin and, uh, and Mr. Biden. I think America's missing the Donald at the moment, to be honest with you guys. I really, really do. I think we maybe got the Donald wrong. Got a lovely Dax overcoat at McNaughton's of Pitlochry. Now, I know McNaughton's well. A very, very, very fine shop. And that will be a beautiful overcoat. And they do lovely tweed and tartan. Because, uh, of course, I worked in Pitlochry. Politicians are only nice before they're elected. After election, most of them turn into charlatans. They do, yes. I'm wondering if there's a wee touch of the psychotic about these people. Hello from Newcastle. They don't all, to be honest, Geodog. A lot of them serve their constituents very, very well. Guys, I'm on three and a half thousand likes. What are you all like? And he said, hello from Newcastle. We love you in Newcastle, Kelly. Hi, Scotty, dinky do. I used to work at McNaughton's in the late 90s and early 2000s. Oh, wow, Kirsty. Well, I was at Pitlochry as the um, assistant general manager of the new theatre in 1981. Hello from Newcastle again. Jonathan Binney has sent me a beautiful red rose. Thank you, Jonathan. Guys, thank you for all your lovely gifts. Love the clobbers as we scooter. Is it good scooter? Are you up for that? Leslie Davis has sent me a book, an expert. There we are. Thank you, Leslie. That is beautiful. Jonathan has sent me another three red roses. Thank you, Jonathan. Um, Kai Bleak, Dinky Do. Has everybody followed Scotty McClure? Very important you get following, guys. I still don't know. Where do I share? How do I? Ah, share. Guys, I can share. I found it. And we can share right now. Is that not just beautiful? I'm sharing and I'm saying that I'm live now. Right. This is the game, guys. We are in business. This is fantastic. We're discovering it all together. Um, I can share my TikTok while I'm actually live. I love it. Live now. Join us. Yes, join us. There we are, live now, join us. And that's that going out. That's fantastic. I love this. Uh, did you get your new computer? I did, Leslie. Thank you for all the generosity. And I'm paying it up at the moment, but I was able to put down the first payment because of the generosity of all you beautiful TikTokers. And that's what gave us the internet phone in on a Saturday night on the Scotty McClure YouTube channel at nine o'clock. Wonderful. I think it's Chiswick Bridge they finish. Is it Chiswick? It's not, uh, it's not uh, Hammersmith, no? What do you think of, uh, I feel sorry. Well, Geodog, we can't discuss any of that at the moment. I know people do, but they're breaking the law. That shouldn't be discussed at all at the moment. Um, and uh, uh, we we don't know what's what. Loving your wee bunny. Thank you very much. Can you do a Geordie accent, please, says Kai Bill. Kai Bill, I'm doing a Geordie accent as, as, as much as I can. For goodness sake, man. I tell you, how's Wallace? Okay, my apologies. Not at all to your dog. No, no, you weren't necessarily to know these things. And, uh, you know, I mean, last week we had to do a lot of editing on the phone in because one of the guys just didn't know. I said, you can't say that. He went, I've said it. And he didn't know that I had to go and edit all that later. Love it. Thank you. Do you like that one, Kabik? Is it any good? 
God save our queen, says we scooter. Absolutely. More Aberdonian than Geordie, kissy. For what are you talking about? Aberdonian would be far me like that, Ken. If you're free Aberdeen. There we are. Nothing like the Geordie. Although, you've raised a very, very interesting point here. I have maintained and, of course, got laughed off the part, as happens, if you happen to come up with facts. And um, I have maintained that the United Kingdom is not split north and south. It's split east and west. So you're far more likely to get uh, common denominators between Aberdeen and Edinburgh and Newcastle, yes, and uh, what else have we got further down there, and Hull, places like that, there are similarities because they're on the East Coast. They traded with different countries to the West Coast. There we are, Aberdonian, thank you. Can't wait to see the celebration for the Queen's Platinum Anniversary. Absolutely, Leslie Davis, it will be huge. And I suggested this week that Celtic football team, they've been winning. And I suggested that they have become the Royal Celtic Football Club. There we are with perhaps Her Majesty the Queen as patron. I think that might be quite a nice touch. It's 70 years since the Queen's been on the throne. Absolutely, Angela. Throne is T-H-R-O-N-E, as in Game of Thrones, but uh, 70 years, yes. Her father died um, this weekend, so there we are. Yes, absolutely. She's at Sandringham because she likes to be there for the anniversary. Her poor dad was only 56, I think, when he died in his sleep. Afternoon, Scotty. How do you do, your good friend? Long John checking in once again. Long John, we love having you on here. And a big dink you do to you. Hi, great idea, says Leslie. Hi, I'm from Hull. Jenny, I know Hull very well. I used to broadcast on Viking Radio, Magic Radio. Never, absolutely. Scotty, I'm away out. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Dink you do, beachy, beachy. Take great care of your dear self and dink you do to you. Can anybody remember when I started here? I'd better push off. Aberdonian feet are always warm because they're always talking about their furry boots. Furry boots are you, Fee. Oh, how are you? Yeah, do not be damn fit again. Fantastic. Thank you for my lovely lollipops. <clears throat> that lady is the best. Who could have done better? Nobody, I don't think. She's a fantastic lady. I noticed um, congratulating Scotland winning the Calcutta Cup. Absolutely, Colelio. Broke your neutrality. No, 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 no. Anybody, you know, if you're from London, you can congratulate Scotland on winning the Calcutta Cup. If you're from Johannesburg, you can congratulate. So there's no breaking neutrality. No, no, it was uh, it was hard won. <coughs> there we go. Thank you. Thank you for my beautiful football, Jonathan. Thank you for my lovely chair, and thank you, Beachy Beachy, for my beautiful red rose. So very, very kind of you guys. Are you ever planning on coming to Newcastle again? Well, Jonathan, I'd love to come down to Newcastle. I used to go over a lot from Carlisle. There we are. And I used to go and see my friends in Newcastle. And, of course, we did Century Radio in Gateshead, man. I didn't see much of the match, but I didn't see the match, to be honest. But if they win, they played better. Fair enough. Now, Colelo, England were well up at one point. And I had to turn the sound down to do something else. And when I put the sound back up again, I saw the score had changed. Tremendous stuff. 4,300 likes, by the way, you beautiful people. Uh, so there you go. So, no, no, there's no breaking neutrality. I mean, I am delighted for Scotland. And I have put up a TikTok video to that effect. I can tell you that for nothing. I love this sharing, guys, that we can share right away. Oh, wow. Yes, I can share to all sorts of things. I know now. I know what we can do here. You need to watch every match in mute mode. Oh, Kulelo, could you imagine? 
I'll tell you what I did. You know, I mean, we had a very fine commentator at Remembrance Sunday, but it said what I found the commentator was giving us too much. And uh, as I say, first class commentator, but just too much. So when they were playing the famous music for Remembrance Sunday, the minstrel boy to what has gone, he was naming all the songs as they were playing. And I said, let the music do its work. Then I saw that I could press the red button. It said, without commentary. And I watched Remembrance Sunday with no commentary, and it was brilliant. So there, but no disrespect to the first-class commentator. Uh, one of the finest commentators ever that they used to bring in for royal events for the biggest things was Tom Fleming, a lovely, lovely man, a Scottish actor called Tom Fleming. And Tom used to do all the absolute top. I don't think Tom's any longer with us, sadly. Uh, but he was a lovely man and uh, the most beautiful voice you could ever wish to hear. I usually press the red button and put it on the ref's headpiece. Kissy for I didn't know you could do that. Woo! That'll be interesting. I can remember they mic'd up one of the refs. It was a football match, soccer, I believe, people call it. And um, the language was shocking. Absolutely shocking. My darling, beautiful people, I'm going to have to love you and leave you. So there we are. Thank you for joining us today. It's been an absolute blast. 4,600 likes. I love you all. An interesting way of watching. I might try that. Absolutely, Kalelio. Very interesting. Kalelio, on here it's always interesting. And it's not to do with Scotty McClure. It's to do with you guys. You're fantastic. Geodog says, in South Africa, have you caught with rough platinum ore like gold? It's government bangles for you. Wow, Geodog. Am I not right in thinking way back at the turn of the last century? In the 1800s, people used to just find a big diamond and they were set for life. And there we go. When will you be back? As soon as we can, Leslie. And I send you love and blessings. Everybody follow me. Look at all the TikTok videos. Watch, like, and share because they're all for you. And although I say it myself, some of them are pretty good. Is that blazer related to a school or university you know? Indeed, Kulelio. Very much indeed. I must dash dinky-doo to every single one of you. And as we say in the best of circles, ta-ra, lads!